Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera untuk kita semua. Hello darlings, English teachers, senior high school students, wherever you are. How are you all? I hope you are doing great. Alright, welcome back to my classroom, my channel, General English. This lesson video is going to talk about explanation text. I hope you are ready. This text has a pair of basic competencies. Over here, you are seeing the basic competency to measure your knowledge or your cognitive. So you are going to have four levels of activities. And then over here, you are seeing basic competency to measure your skill. So please, with your English teacher, later on, have a reading practices or some listening practices, okay? To cover these materials, I believe that we are going to need about three to four sessions, all right? Okay, explanation text is probably a new text for you, but have you ever heard of this text in Mata Pelajaran Bahasa Indonesia? It is called text explanasi. Well, it's kind of the same, okay? Before everything else about this text, let's see the definition of this text first. Okay, it says that explanation is a text which tells processes relating to forming of natural, social, scientific, and cultural phenomena. Explanation text is to say why and how of the forming of the phenomena. So later on, whenever you want to know why things happen and how things happen, all right, in the case of phenomena, natural, social, scientific, and cultural, so you are talking about explanation text. The key word is process, all right? Process, once again, process. What are the process, all right? The process in science, how disasters happen, about the natural phenomena around us, and then about social phenomena around us. And then probably last one, if you're talking about technologies, engines, or machines, then you are talking about explanation text, okay? I will show you more details of examples for each category. Right, so far you know these categories, right? Natural phenomena, disasters, machines, engines or technology, other science and social phenomena. I'm going to show you the processes that are categorized as explanation text when we are talking about natural phenomena and so on. All right, let's see natural phenomena. What are the processes? Here are the examples. So, when you are talking about the formation of rain, how rain happens, why rain happens, or snow, water cycles, rainbow, clouds, thunder, seasons, meteor, tidal wave, eclipse, day and night, seasons, global warming, volcano, etc. All right, the processes are explanation. Okay, now what about disasters? All right, let's see, here are just some examples. How tsunami happens? Flood, earthquake, twister, tornado, forest fire, etc. Name all disasters. When it says about the processes, then it is explanation text. Now, what about machines, engines, or technology? What are the processes? All right, so whenever you are talking about fan, air conditioner, TV, camera, scanner, hoverboard, if you know hoverboard, Face detector, fingerprint, touchscreen, computer virus, etc. that deals with machines, engines, or technology. All the process are explanation texts. Okay? Now, let's find out other science. Here, I have gathered um, some famous examples about other science that are categorized as explanation texts. Like life cycles or how things grow. Bagaimana segala sesuatunya? tumbuh dan berkembang. How our organs work. Bagaimana organ tubuh kita bekerja. Uh, segala sesuatu tentang penyakit, tentang uh, medicine, etc. Right? The last one, I'm going to show you examples. Process that happens around us. That deals with people around us. Social phenomena. So, the processes relate to how things happen or exist like crime, terrorism, corruption, religion or beliefs, disorders, ya, pelanggaran-pelanggaran, justice, bagaimana justice ditegakkan, virus, bagaimana segala sesuatunya bisa viral, bisa booming, 
uh, dan mungkin juga bankruptcy, kok bisa ya dia gulung tikar, kok bisa ya perusahaan itu bangkrut. Nah, prosesnya dari awal sampai akhirnya itu disebut explanation text. So, yeah, so much different than those processes in procedure text. Alright, in procedure text, prosesnya itu tentang how to cook things, recipes, or how to create things, handicrafts, how to operate things, manuals, or how to do things right, or tips. Berbeda sekali ya. Nah, setelah ini akan saya tunjukkan di segmen dan di slide berikutnya perbedaan-perbedaannya seperti apa. Oke. Okay. Alright, here I'm showing you four cognitive or knowledge levels in learning explanation text today. Okay, teachers, please feel free to adjust your students' capacity. This lesson video may cover all levels, but then please feel free to adjust. Alright, let's see. This, this is the C1, cognitive one, level one, level two, level three, and level For the basic, alright, the basic levels are C1 and C2. Basicnya, siswa harus bisa sampai C2, ya. Yeah. Soon after that, you will be able to rearranging pieces of explanation text, and then this one probably at the last activity, distinguishing text using identification table with color notes. Ready? Let's go. Level 1, Cognitive 1, C1. Okay. Just like other texts, explanation text also has social function, which is to explain how and why things with natural process. Repeat. To explain how and why things are with natural process. Don't forget to do that, yeah? Try to remember everything. This text has three parts. Tidak boleh terbalik-balik ya. Remember, strukturnya tidak boleh terbalik. First is general statement. The second is explanation. And then the third is closing. Right? General statement, it is always in the beginning of the text. Okay? This is where the position the readers about the topic. And then followed by an explanation. This is where the natural processes are stated. Okay. And then finally ended with a closing. But it is not a must. Tidak wajib dalam explanation text ini memiliki paragraf atau kalimat closing. Yaitu last process or conclusion. Tidak wajib. Terkadang ada, terkadang tidak. Tidak masalah. Yeah. So in this text, okay, sebagai language features, You are going to use simple present tense, bahkan nanti ada future tense-nya, okay, and then passive sentences, and you may find some technical terms in it. Ya, kalau teksnya itu terlalu akademik, akan banyak technical terms. Tapi kalau teksnya agak sederhana, technical terms tidak terlalu banyak muncul, okay. Nah, let's discuss more about the language features. Okay, about the language features, focusing on the use of simple present tense or future tense, passive sentences where you need to be and verb three, and then the use of technical terms depending on the topic. Let's say we are going to talk about the life cycle of fowls of chicken or chicken. Ya, chickennya sudah ready di sini ya. Nah, kira-kira. Kalau simple present tense, apa yang bisa muncul sebagai kalimatnya? Okay, you can write about the life cycle of fowls or chickens with these sentences. Okay, yang merah-merah ini adalah kata kerja yang mengindikasikan simple present tense. Lays. Okay, berakhiran s karena subjeknya satu yaitu a hen. Protects mengalami akhiran s karena Subjeknya satu, ya. Grows mengalami akhiran s karena subjeknya adalah it. Jika subjek he, she, it, maka simple present tense kata kerjanya berakhiran s, es atau ies. Oke. Okay. 
Grow tidak berakhiran karena subjeknya lebih dari satu, chicks. Grow up, grow up. Oke, okay, subjek lebih dari satu, chicks. Nah, itu untuk simple present tense. Bagaimana dengan pasif? Ingat, dalam kalimat pasif kita butuh to be, is, am, are, atau will be. Ya, Nah, di sini contohnya yang mungkin bisa dituliskan adalah An egg is developed inside the hen. The egg is roasted. Chicks are fully grown into chickens in six months. Jika diartikan, ini semua akan make sense dan terdengar lebih scientific atau ilmiah. Ya, Is, to be, developed, verb 3. Ya, karena subjeknya hanya ada satu, maka to be-nya adalah is, bukan are. Ya, sebuah telur terbentuk atau dibentuk di dalam tubuh uh, chicken yang betina. Ya, ayam betina terbentuk atau dibentuk, bukan membentuk. Ya, oleh karena itu butuh kalimat pasif, dibentuk atau terbentuk. Next, the egg is roasted. Telur itu dierami tererami bukan mengerami ya kan oleh karena itu butuh kalimat pasif ya begitu pula dengan ini chicks are fully ground akan ditumbuhi bukan menumbuhi ya oleh karena itu butuh kalimat pasif now what about the technical terms here are some of the technical terms that you may find if you are talking about the life cycle of fowls or chickens dalam hal ini chicken ya Nah, yang mungkin muncul adalah comb, wattle, beak, embryo, yolk, and down feathers. Comb is something over here, di atas kepala. Wattle, something over here, oke, okay, di bawah paruhnya, di lehernya. Beak adalah paruh, embryo adalah bakal uh, bakal makhluk hidupnya. Yolk adalah kuning telur, down feathers adalah bulu-bulu uh, halus saat uh, chick itu menetas, ya. Anak-anak ayam itu menetas, dia akan memiliki down feathers yang halus, and then these feathers will get dry almost immediately, and then when it gets dry, it is so fluffy. Itu down feathers. Oke. Okay. Nah, if you think you will be able to handle the next level, level 2, let's go for it. Oke, okay. level 2. We are going to compare. We are going to compare explanation text versus procedure text. So, there are actually three obvious differences. Yang sudah pasti itu ada tiga ya. Ditinjau dari social function, generic structure, dan language features. Okay, explanation text. You know these three, right? Okay, social function, sudah tadi, generic structure, dan language features. What about... In procedure, do you still remember the social function of procedure? Yes, to inform the readers how to do, make, create, operate things. Yeah, itu prosedur ya. Yeah. What about the generic structures? Yes, it also has three structures. Go, materials or ingredients or tools, and then steps yang ketiga. Itu juga tidak boleh terbalik-balik ya. Yeah. And then what about the language features? Yang paling khas language features dalam procedure adalah it uses imperatives or commands menggunakan kalimat perintah. Ini perbedaan yang paling basic, yang sudah obvious. Okay. Uh, let's say uh, about this one, imperative. Bagaimana kalimat perintah itu ya? Let's say you want to talk about how to make an omelet. Ya, kalimat perintahnya kira-kira ya seperti ini. Turn on the stove, put a saucepan on it, all right, and then pour a small amount of cooking oil and let it heat it for a while, and then pour your egg mixture on it, cook for three minutes, and ready to serve. Hmm, kira-kira seperti itu ya, bentuk imperatif atau komensnya, kalimat perintah, sangat khas, ya. Tapi kalau di explanation text tidak demikian ya, Ya, tidak seperti itu. Di explanation text tidak ada perintah untuk kita melakukan sesuatu. Nah, actually, I have three more comparison differences about these uh, two texts in the next slide. Are you ready? Let's find out. Okay, kita mulai ya. Comparison number four, five, and six. 
Before finding the next three differences, I'd like you to look at these titles first. How does a tsunami happen? How does a life begin? How does COVID-19 spread? How does Butejo go viral? Tahu tidak Butejo ya? The life cycle of butterflies and then the water cycles. Ini contoh ya. And then titles over here. How to make Dalgona coffee? Hmm, delicious. How to make a paper plane? How to create a reminder board? How to operate a printer? How to use a vending machine? And how to have a slimmer body? Oke, okay, dilihat dulu contoh-contohnya. Uh, these are typical titles for explanation. And over here are typical titles for procedure. Nah, answering question number four, number five, and number six. You will find the differences between the two texts. Okay, so let's go for number four. How are these done and how are these done? Nah, bagaimana ini dilakukan? Bagaimana ini dilakukan? Bisakah kita melakukan ini? Tsunami? Kehidupan? Ya? Yeah. Uh, life cycle? Oke, okay. bisakah kita membuat dalgona? Membuat paper plane, reminder board, dan sebagainya? Ya, yeah. so we can say these are done naturally. Naturally, sudah alami. Ya, yeah. nothing we can do about it. It just happens by itself. What about this one? Yes, they are done manually. We do them all. Okay, we make it happen. Good. Now let's find out number five. How is it prepared? Bagaimana ini disiapkan? Apakah kita menyiapkan semua ini? Tsunami? Apa yang disiapkan ya? Wah, kalau ini adakah yang bisa kita siapkan? Bisa kita siapkan? Okay, let's say. Over here in explanation, we cannot prepare the materials. Tidak bisa kita siapkan materials apa yang dibutuhkan untuk tsunami ya tidak seperti itu because it is done naturally and over here of course we can prepare the materials untuk membuat dalgona coffee paper plane reminder board untuk mengoperasikan printer me me mengoperasikan vending machine dan membuat tubuh kita lebih langsing bisa kita siapkan materials ingredients or tools last one question number six how is it processed Nah, bagaimana ini diproses? Ya, dan bagaimana ini diproses? Sebentar, lama, bisa kita ikuti atau tidak? Nah, bisa kita ikuti? Tidak. Iya. Over here in explanation, let's say we cannot follow the process in one time. We cannot because the process, ya, proses alamiah itu panjang, tidak selesai dalam Hitungan menit atau jam dalam satu waktu yang bisa kita tunggu, ya kita duduk, kita menunggu, kita melihat tidak bisa. Beda dengan prosedur, ya prosesnya bisa kita ikuti in one time dalam satu waktu karena prosesnya cenderung singkat. Bisa kita lihat dari awal sampai akhir, bisa kita tunggu, ya bisa kita saksikan. Nah seperti itu. Bagaimana? Sudah tampak perbedaan? Perbedaan one, two, six, oke? Okay? Diselami lagi, dipelajari lagi, because after this you are going to put all your knowledge about these uh, two texts into practices. Alright? Now let's put all your knowledge about explanation text and procedure text into some practices. In fact, I have three pairs of text and you have to decide which one is explanation and procedure. Alright? This is the first The first pair you are going to talk about vending machine. Do you know what vending machine is? Ya, seperti ini ya. Mesin penjual otomatis. Sekarang, di antara kedua teks ini, yang manakah explanation, yang manakah procedure? Oke. Okay. Pause here and spend a moment to read these two texts. Pausing in 3, 2, 1. Come on. Good. Thank you for pausing. All right, let's discuss. Okay, explanation text is, yes, this one. Because it tells you how it works from the inside. Bagaimana terjadinya, bagaimana bekerjanya mesin itu dari dalam. We cannot do anything about that. Kita tidak terlibat, dia jalan dengan sendirinya. Okay, makanya itu explanation. And over here is the procedure. Because it tells you the manuals how to do it. Bagaimana cara melakukannya, bagaimana membuatnya dia uh, berjalan sesuai dengan apa yang kita pilih. Ya, Ada yang kita siapkan, 
ya uangnya ada yang harus kita lakukan tekan tekan tombolnya makanya ini prosedur ya alright ready for the second pair I have another one okay so we are going to talk about what are they okay yeah we are going to talk about virus COVID-19 so here are the texts which one is which okay again pausing in three two one come on good all right thank you for pausing now let's discuss so explanation text is over here or over here great is this one because it tells you how the COVID-19 spreads tidak bisa ya prosesnya kita lihat dari awal tahu-tahu sudah menyebar tidak bisa kita tungguin sambil duduk kita saksikan penyebarannya ya ini proses alami alam yang membuatnya terjadi so that's why this one is explanation and procedure is this one because it's It tells you some tips to prevent or to avoid COVID-19. Ada yang bisa kita lakukan, ada yang bisa kita siapkan, dan kita terlibat di dalamnya. Ya, makin pinter ya membedakan explanation and procedure. Okay, ready for the last pair? Let's go. Alright, these are the last pair of text. We're talking about water cycle or rain. All right, pausing in three, two, one. Let's go. Very good. Thank you for pausing. So let's find out the explanation and procedure. So which one is explanation? Nice is this one. Because of what? Because it tells you the life cycle of water or rain. Tidak ada bahan-bahan yang bisa kita siapkan di sini ya. Terjadi sudah dengan sendirinya alam yang membuatnya terjadi the procedure is this one because it tells you some tips to save water dalam bentuk perintah ingat kalimat perintah adalah ciri khasnya procedure di sini ada put fill put and then turn off ya yeah? shower and then fix nah sudah pasti itu procedure wow I hope you get the whole idea by now. If you haven't, stop right here. Do not continue to the next level. Okay? Level 1 and level 2 are the least things you should be able to do. Kuasai dahulu sampai di sini, baru maju ke level berikutnya. Okay? Ya, yeah. bagaimana dengan level berikutnya? Yes, it's level 3. Okay, silakan disesuaikan dengan kemampuannya. Level 3 is to rearrange pieces of explanation text. Alright, I'm going to give you a hint that this text is talking about food digestion in our body. Okay, and then I have given you the first one to start and then the last one to close. And I'm going to leave you with the rest numbers, yeah, with the rest arrangement for you to do by yourself. Don't worry, I'm leaving you link. Okay, to find out this text. Okay, have a practice. Nice. Okay, congratulations. You are now at the last level, C4, distinguishing text. Okay, distinguishing text. Using identification table with color notes. What you, what you are going to do is to distinguish them. Okay, so here is the text. And here is the table, right? First, let's find out the social function. Dari judulnya saja sudah tampak ya. So, the social function is to explain the process of how Venus eclipse happens. Dari judulnya sudah tampak. Bagaimana kalau judulnya tidak ada? Ya, mau tidak mau, you have to read the text. Oke, okay, dibaca dulu baru bisa menjawab social function. Now, the generic structure. Remember, What are the structures? Good. General statement, explanation, and then closing. Ada tiga ya. But the problem is now, you have to give color notes. Warnanya hijau, green, or biru, blue. General statement. Okay, I'm going to show you. The general statement is from here to over here. 
Why? Because right after this sentence, setelah kalimat ini, do you know how this rare Venus eclipse happens? Setelah kalimat ini sudah masuk prosesnya. Jadi kita anggap saja general statement dari sini sampai sini. Okay? So, and then the closing. Okay? The closing. From here to here. Okay. Prosesnya berakhir di sini. In fact, the moon appears somewhere near it about once a month. Ya, prosesnya berakhir di situ. Kebetulan di sini ada closing. Ya. So, leaves in the middle as the explanation. So, let's put the colors over here. Okay, how about that? Mudah kan? Now, the most challenging part is to find the language features. Passive and technical terms. Oke, okay, pasif kita butuh to be dan kata kerja ketiga. Kita cari dulu to be, to be-nya is, am, are, atau will be, atau uh, was, were, gitu ya, uh, dalam teks ini. Kita coba di baris pertama tidak ada to be, di baris kedua ada was, ada was, ya ada was, baris ketiga ada be, ada is, and then is again, is again, and then are, is, is. Kalau uh, what else are and that's it tidak ada lagi setelahnya ya. Nah sekarang tinggal verb three kita cari verb three setelah to be ini. Setelah ini bukan verb three, setelah was bukan verb three, setelah was yes verb three, oke. Okay. Setelah be ya yeah, verb three, uh, this one bukan uh, parallel itu bukan verb three tapi di adjective is covered by ini sudah pasti kata kerja ketiga ada by nya sudah pasti pasif. Are sharing ini bukan pasif karena kata kerja ing ya is why is not unusual unusual bukan kata kerja tapi adjective and then visible bukan kata kerja tapi kata adjective kata sifat so we have only three passive sentences in this text okay what about technical languages atau technical terms okay I'm telling you that this text is quite simple so there are not too many technical terms that you can find in it but yes uh, if you want to write something for the technical languages let's just write phenomenon eclipse parallel and path okay itu kira-kira uh, ini ya ini teksnya enggak terlalu rumit enggak terlalu akademik ini sudah sangat sederhana jadi tidak terlalu banyak istilah teknis yang temukan di sini how about that gampang ya Pelan-pelan saja mengerjakannya. Jika contoh latihan ini belum kamu pahami, silakan pause here and replay. Pahami dulu. ya. Just don't force yourself in one's learning. Jangan memaksakan diri di sekali pembelajaran. Dipahami dulu, dilihat-lihat lagi juga boleh. Oke, okay? if you are ready, kalau sudah siap, nah, this is your first text. This is the text. It talks about fan atau kipas angin, berarti machines, engines, or electronics, ya, yeah, or um, technology. Oke, okay, kamu silakan isi identification table. Jangan lupa color notes-nya, ya, yeah. uh, green, white, and blue. Oke, okay, the language features. Please find two passive sentences and three technical terms or technical languages. Oke, okay. jangan lupa ini dikerjakan dicoba minimal satu, and then don't worry. I have left you a link to find this text right but if you want some more practices here i have another one this text talks about the formation of snow go ahead try again right this is the identification don't forget the color notes again you're going to find two passive sentences and about three technical terms all right good luck for that wow Congratulations, you did it. So, make sure by now you are able to identify SFGS and LF, comparing text of explanation and procedure, and then rearranging jumbled explanation text, and then the last one, just now, distinguishing explanation text using identification table with color notes. Okay, bagaimana? Bisa dicoba terus ya? Wasn't that a something? Alright, amazing. Thank you so much for watching, for learning explanation text with me. Okay, be sure to like, share, comment, and the most important is subscribe my channel to show that we are supporting each other.
Bye for now class. See you around in my next video and please stay safe and tough. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera untuk kita semua. Bye-bye.